All right, the stage is set, and as you can see, the beautiful backdrop that is Evergreen Speedway. FD Seattle, second practice going down. I'm late, as usual. I ate something. I broke my finger 10 days ago. This is gonna be wild. Let's put some more danger in there. Uh, pretty good. I just mowed into OD right towards the end of our last warm-up before uh, qualifying. Nah, I don't know. I got data that said he was the fastest car on the track, so I was like, all right, let's do this thing. And uh, I was pretty much pushing him around the whole track, and I got a little bit too greedy on uh, the first transition. That did not feel good on my broken finger at all, but this is just going to be a tough weekend for the old girl. It is what it is, man. It happens. Happy birthday. That's my gift to you. Happy birthday, Alvin. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just waiting because I want to try and get a lap um, like as close to the end of practice as possible. So I spend the least amount of time out of the car as possible between now and my qualifying lap. So yeah, we all right. Dylan's doing good, his finger hurts. He, he's driving good though. He's driving good though. The car, the car ran real good. I don't know what to do with my hands. Nice little plate, so I'm just running it on the inside of my finger right here. And then the glove is tight enough where my finger is swollen enough where it kind of like holds it in place. And then I just like drive like this. <laughs> Pretty squirrely, but I definitely, I cannot bend it more than that. This is k and Knockout Qualifying. Unfortunately, 10 days ago, he's riding his motorcycle, broke his left middle finger. So his left <laughs> middle finger, it, it might be looking like he's flicking off, but you'll see it pointed out here, but Ooh. he's driving with a metal rod just holding his, holding his finger straight because he's in a lot of pain, but right now he's putting the hurt on the track. Dylan Hughes, the Royal Purple, again, this is his home track as well, him and Travis Reeder, so he's trying to go for the bragging rights at the bar right now with the broken finger and brings it across in that last outside zone. He knows his course, and Dylan Hughes. 87 by Dylan Hughes, 33 X-Factor points. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no worries, guys. Probably was decent. We did uh, sixth place, so uh, pretty pretty good lap. Yeah, I'm happy. I, I flicked it in nice and hard, good and committed, and then I did a little bit of a wobble. Uh, I think I could have got a little bit more X-Factor points, but I mean, I feel like we say this every time, you're, you're never going to get what you truly want, but sixth place overall is pretty damn good, so uh, hopefully it sets the bracket up good for tomorrow and we'll be ready to rip. So we're, we're getting acclimated, every lap is a little bit better with the finger, but I'm telling you, dude, it's like literally learning how to drive again, it, it's, it's weird, but um, stoked to be here in the PNW, vibes are at all time, weather is absolutely perfect, so no complaints whatsoever. Oh man, 
and the fans are streaming in and they are in the building. Welcome out to Evergreen Speedway just outside of Seattle. Technically it's Monroe. Monroe watched it, put some respect on it. Got some telemetry here. Let's see what kind of speeds we see. Dylan Hughes out front, 80, 80 something miles per hour. Dylan looks like he taps the wall. He's very familiar with this track. Two BMWs, Ooh. two very different builds. Robert Thorne gets inside of him. He shimmies his way, but Dylan Hughes right back in that world purple GT Radio BMW. Transitions in that third outside zone. Robert Thorne backs off and now jumps to the side. Whoa, whammy. Holy cow. Rock of sock of BMWs. Robert Thorne. <laughs> He like glitched and said, you know, move. So, uh, Robert Thorne at fault? Yes. For the damage there on uh, Dylan Hughes' car right behind that front tire. Buddy out. So here we go. Robert Thorne, Dylan Hughes coming into initiation of that big outside zone. Thorne initiates and he is right stuck to that wall. Dylan Hughes in with that broken left finger. You can see it inside the cockpit holding on to that Momo steering wheel. Into that second outside zone, the third outside zone, Dylan Hughes doesn't get all the way out there. Robert Thorne, a wide line, a big arc there. Now coming that last outside zone. Whoa, Thorne gets in the ball. Yeah. Here we go, slide him left for Hughes or right for Robert Thorne. And it looks like Dylan Hughes gets the win. A little bit of drama, um, kind of got mowed into by uh, Robert Thorne. Uh, I was kind of at a pretty deep angle, but not to the point of spinning by any means, but he was kind of hot-dogging it. He was pushing hard for sure. Um, so they ended up giving the fault to him, so I got my 10 minutes, checked the car over, bumped the toe out a little bit, pulled the fender out, um, went back out there and laid down a mediocre chase, and it was plenty enough to get the win. So on to the 16, and apparently I was, I thought I was going to run Brandon Sorensen, but then Apparently they protested, so him and Novak are going to go again. So there's going to be a top 17 right now, and then I think they're going to be the first battle to decide who we go against. So either Sorensen or Novak, I don't even know yet. So craziness as always here at Formula D, but Seattle's killing it. I love it. There's a gang of people. Look at this. There's people everywhere. I love it. Make some noise for Dylan the Dozer Hughes! And here we go with the last battle of the great eight. Who is going against James the Machine Dean? Old center Dylan Hughes. Where are my Dylan Hughes fans at? Make some noise! The telemetry is on and Simon Olsen flicks it in. Dylan Hughes rolls into it. Simon Olsen, massive angle, that field suspension vehicle. The dozer finds himself right there again. Gets close, but definitely needs to mimic more of the angle. Has that proximity into that final. Oh! oh. Simon also does tap, but it does not affect the attitude of the vehicle. Uh, and we're just debating things. What, should we change something? I mean, the, the whole cliche is like the, the whole, like, oh, well, sanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. But with drifting, it's like, that's not the case. It's consistency. It's like if you could do the same thing over and over and over again, the other guy's going to mess up. So that's what we're banking on. Simon Olsen's a great driver, but I don't think he's as precise as my boy Dylan Hughes. So I think we got this. Here we go. Dylan Hughes out front. Royal Purple. Oh, yeah. BMW throws it in. Simon Olsen drops into formation. Look at this. Oh. Oh, he drops. Oh, yeah. oh locking him up. A little left foot break by Dylan Hughes into the power alley. Oh, right on the razor's edge. Using all of the courses, Dylan Hughes. Showing you the driving prowess, past that inside clip. The Ford Star standing out, showing you the correction, coming back. Do we have a verdict? Slide him left for Olsen, right for Dylan Hughes. PNW makes some noise, because Dylan Hughes gets the win! Dude, 
I'm gonna sleep good tonight. No matter what happens next, I'm sleeping good tonight. That was maximum intensity the whole time. That was gnarly, dude. Who's gonna get it? Dylan Hughes initiates. Oh, he comes out of angle, but goes right back into it. The ladder allows James Dean some good proximity. Now coming off that bank, James Dean taking a bit of a lower line. In the power alley, some sparks being thrown into that third outside zone. Into that inside clip. Snappy transition, nice job there by Dylan Hughes. Solid. Ryan, you talked about it. Sun is setting. Yeah. Lighting issues. James Dean will lead AutoZone, Ford Mustang, RTR. Into that outside zone. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, wild. Wow. Dylan Hughes, he's got the proximity. He is, he is motivated. He is absolutely on a tear into that third outside zone. But James Dean maxing out that angle, big angle. Dylan Hughes having to back off and see a massage it back in and then gets on the side of James Dean. And oh look boy. at this! Oh, Dylan wow. Hughes gets the win! All right, keep it, Dylan. The Dozer Hughes. I mean, I was going to say he's guaranteed third place. Dylan Hughes will lead. He's in the Time S final. Oh, Doctor, they go off course. So calm and collected as he is. I know he wants to get this victory. Jill Hughes surges forward. Some contact with May, but Chelsea continues on through the course. Jill the Dozer Hughes. And with that, second place goes to your local hometown boy in that Royal Purple GT Radio O'Reilly Auto Parts BMW. Make some noise with a broken left finger of Dylan the Dozer Hughes! Good battles today, man. We we had to work for it. We did a lot of laps today. Some of them on my end were a little bit mediocre, but we're learning every time, man. Like, um, I'm just glad, to, glad we got to do it in the hometown, man. I just had an absolute blast, so. Uh, I'm just stoked up there with the Mustang boys right now. I really wanted the, I really wanted the W, but it wasn't the first one.